Hi guys, I'm doing a new video on this trash, trash can sign because I'm really nice and I've just found out a new thing you can do. So I might have to explain a bit because it's getting a bit late. So I have to have it on my lap when it doesn't work. So I've tried it the other way. I'm just going to take you half up case because I did it earlier. It's peach on camera, but it is orange. I need to move it around a little bit. As you can see, some coming out of the trying to get the key. just dog that out. And it is just so looking nice. It's just so smooth. I don't like the other one, it doesn't get any lumps in it. Sorry, Rosalina, I believe. Rosalind, Rosalina, who commented on my mermaid print slime video. I don't. And you've got a few little shout outs here and there. And there's someone else that I want to give a shout out to in my last slime video called Shout Out. It's called Lucky Shout Out. I gave you a shout out then. So if you want to find out who that was, then please watch my last video. I gave it to them because they told me about a £2 slime from the works, which is where I got this from. And it is a bit different, but she let me know that there was jiggly slime in the work. And this is jiggly slime. She said twist slime, which is two pounds. I got trash can slime, which is four pounds. So that's alright. I'm going to try and get that twist slime soon. I can't stop twisting it over and trying to move it and keep it in this container. Oh god. So I have to be careful. I think that's gold. And it's out in this one big lump. Be careful because this stuff is a bit sticky. I'll put it on the tissue because I put a little bit on the tissue and it was fine. I wasn't any good idea. I lost some of it. But, you know. It's fine. I'm not going to say, I think most of this is made up of water. When I, but we've been playing with it for quite a while. I've been getting wrinkly fingers. I took a while playing it, without playing it. But I was getting wrinkly fingers, so I've been just getting less jiggly. But hopefully it'll go back a little bit more to like normal slime. So. Because I like normal so I wait for my poker. I just want to show you what it's like when it goes in a pack. You can get it to, it's almost like putty when you put it back in sometimes. But a lot of times I put it back in. You heard it a minute ago. You heard it. So I like putty dough. You know, you can't really. It feels quite cool when you push it down to the bottom and crunch it, but you can't hear anything. So, you know. Once I stretch this as much as I can under the hole that I can't recover, I should be able to recover that one. I will show you how stretchy it can get. If that bit opened up one more time, because it's already opened twice, then I will show you. You can see how stretchy I can get it. So you can see how stretchy it is. And then you can decide how stretchy it is. Okay, 
one more hole anywhere, and I will show you that that being full hole I had a hole. Spin. It's not. Doing this is spin. I can't get it to get quite straight. Okay. I've got a little slime bubble. This slime is quite thick. Another thing that I've noticed. That slime bubble is very thick. I think I did that video just a bit too soon for me to know all about the slime because I haven't really played with it that much. So it still hasn't broken so it's all fine. So once I've got it to cover nearly enough of the whole board, I will show you it so I can see how to do that. And this board is bigger than your average dinner mat. So, very big. And this is just what my arts and crafts mat. What I use it for. So, I use it for my slime. Because earlier, I went, I went downstairs and I left this board up here. And I thought, oh, I've got, I tried a bit on a bit of tissue and it's fine. So I just thought, oh yeah, it'll work. Bored a little bit on it, lost some of it, but it's fine. I've got a lot of it back. I managed to save a little bit. <laughs> it just ripped up so close. So I'm just going to recover it because I cannot leave it now. I'm so close. It's on my foot. It's on my foot. It's fine. It's on my foot. Okay. Oh, that's as good as we can do. The slime is very thick. Oh, I just don't go into my slime. Like this slime bubble that I made. It's so thick. I like the rest of it is so thick. But I very much like this slime. Now I'm going to try and roll it back in. Especially the stuff that's on the side. And see if I can get any crunches. See if there's any crunches. So it comes off closed and bed covers fine. At least that's what I've done, so it explains it. Not my responsibility. Um but don't put it on a tissue as well. But if I roll it up like I did with my mermaid poop one and leave that big slime bubble which I was talking about. Should rolled up to be something good. So, I don't know if you can see that. Right. No, because it just popped back together. Oh, that would be a good bubble on it. Right. Okay. It's very weird, punchy. I need to do some ASMR and crunch it. Isn't the best ASMR? I don't know, if it ruins my slime. So I'm going to try and fix it. And I'll see you in the next video. So that's how it's like after playing with it for quite a while. What it's like because I'm going to do updates so I don't think the container is airtight.